Hello, and welcome back to Getting Started with Traditional Synergy in Visual Studio. In our last video, we discussed the ELB, or Executable Library, project template. In this video, we'll cover the OLB, or Object Library, project template. An OLB is a library of compiled units of code that, when linked with other code, is combined to create one executable file or library. This means an OLB doesn't need to be distributed with your application like an ELB does, but it will increase the size of whatever file you link the OLB with, as it combines the compiled code for both. As you can see in our solution, we already have a mainline DBR project and an ELB. We'll start by adding a new OLB to this existing solution. This time, we're selecting the Object Library, OLB, project template from the Templates menu. We'll name this project My OLB. Like our ELB project, our OLB consists of a file named routine.dbl. Let's take the code from our ELB routine and put it in our new OLB. Next, we're going to change the reference in our mainline from referencing the ELB to referencing our OLB. But before we do that, let's quickly open our file directory and show the size of our executables. You can see that the DBR file is fairly small. Now that the code is in the OLB, we can remove the reference to the ELB in the mainline, then add a reference to the OLB instead. After we build, if we check our file directory, we can see that the DBR is now larger, which means the DBR has successfully grown to include the compiled OLB code. Another common use for an OLB is to link various libraries into an ELB. This way, you can have a library of similar routines in separate files that get put together into one ELB without increasing the file size of your main DBR. So let's dereference the OLB in the mainline and reference the ELB again. And in the ELB project, add a reference to the OLB. Since the contents of routine.dbl in my ELB are now in routine.dbl of my OLB, we can remove routine.dbl from my ELB. Now let's add another OLB project called my other OLB and create a reference in our ELB to our new OLB as well. Next, we'll rename the new routine in the Solution Explorer and add a new subroutine called Status Check. Then we'll compile. Now, let's head back to our mainline DBR and make calls to both OLB subroutines. Note that we still only reference the ELB. After we build our solution and run, we see both of our subroutines being called. By building our OLBs this way, we have an ELB with code in different projects that have their own properties, but only one ELB to distribute with the application. So now we've learned how to create an OLB project and the differences between it and an ELB project. Stick around for more videos that will help you to get to know your new IDE. Thanks for watching.